Good morning students. Today we will start 7th chapter getting to know plants. Subtopics are stem and leaf. Let us start with stem. So what is stem? Stem is the erect aerial part of the plant. Aerial means part which is above the ground. Stems are positively phototrophic. Therefore, it is present above the ground. Positively phototrophic means the stem tend to move towards the direction of light. Let's see functions of stem. Stem supports leaves, flowers and fruits. Most important function of stem is conduction of water and nutrients between root and shoot system. Now, let's see in brief, plants need nutrients in various amount for its growth and development. Where does the plants get nutrients? It get it from the soil. Soil also contains water. And nutrients are, all, are also present in dissolved form in water. Now, how the plants take the nutrients? The nutrients are taken through the roots of the plants. Then these nutrients need to be transported to each and every part of the plant. So, this conduction of water from root to other parts of the plant is done by the stem. So, this is the most important function of the stem. Let's perform the small experiment to prove the truth of the stem conducts water to the plant parts. Materials required. Glass of water, red ink, and ba uh, stem base. Observation. You will observe that the color raises in the stem. Conclusion. This experiment shows that stem conducts water. It helps in transportation of water and nutrients absorbed by the roots to different parts of the plant. Next important topic, leaf. In that, we are going to see leaf structure and functions. Leaf is a green, expanded part of the plant born on stem nodes. Let's see what are the nodes of a stem. From the stem, you will have the point from which new branch arise and these points are known as nodes. Leaves are the most important part for the process of photosynthesis. The raw materials Needed for photosynthesis are sunlight, water, carbon dioxide and chlorophyll. We will see what is photosynthesis. Photosynthesis is a process by which green plants prepare their own food by using sunlight to synthesize nutrients from carbon dioxide and water. Photosynthesis in plants generally involves the green pigment called chlorophyll which gives green colored to plants and also allows plants to absorb sunlight. Next parts of a leaf. The two major parts of a leaf are lamina and petiole. Lamina which is also known as leaf blade. It is the flattened portion and it is the most noticeable part of the leaf. Lamina is the place where the midrib and veins are present. And petiole the stalk which is attached to the stem. It also holds the lamina of the leaf. Let's see what are veins. Look at the picture of the veins closely. You will see the prominent line present in the middle of the leaf called the midrib. The designs made by veins in a leaf is called the leaf venation. If the design is network on both sides of the midrib, the venation is reticulate. Examples of reticulate venation are mango leaf, hibiscus leaf, etc. But in the leaves of grass and banana, the veins are parallel to one another. This is called the parallel venation. Let's see what is the purpose of veins in the leaf. Veins are helping in transporting water and food to different corners of the leaf. Other important thing, 
which is present in the leaf is stomata what is stomata stomata are very tiny pores or openings which are present in the lamina and through this stomata exchange of gases takes place if the plants need carbon dioxide will enter through stomata and the oxygen will come out so these tiny pores called stomata helps to regulate exchange of gases next chlorophyll even the chlorophyll has important role in the plants chlorophyll is a green pigment also present in the lamina of the leaf because of the presence of chlorophyll which allows plants to absorb sunlight the leaves are able to perform the process of photosynthesis the last important topic is transpiration let's see what is transpiration transpiration is the process in which water is evaporated in the atmosphere from plants leaves and other parts some amount of water is consumed by roots and rest is evaporated in the atmosphere let's see advantages of transpiration transpiration helps in absorption and transportation of water in the plant it it supplies water for photosynthesis transpiration cools the leaf surface let's recap the topics stem is the aerial aerial part and erect and positively phototrophic it supports leaf flowers and fruits conduction of water and nutrients between root and shoot system next leaf structure leaf is an organ of a plant the two important parts of a leaf are lamina and petiole lamina the broad green part of the leaf petiole the stalk which is attached to the stem lamina is the place where the midrib and veins are present petiole holds the lamina of the leaf leaf venation the designs made by veins in a leaf is called leaf venation the two types of leaf venation are reticulate venation and parallel venation next leaf function the two major functions of leaf are transpiration and photosynthesis with this we come to an end of the topic thank you students